Mr. District Attorney, starring David Bryan. Mr. District Attorney, champion of the people, defender of truth, guardian of our fundamental rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, tonight's story, The Case of the Park Murders. And now, here is our star, David Bryan, as Paul Garrett, Mr. District Attorney. As this county's district attorney, I've seen crimes of many sorts. But in no case is it so vicious and shocking as when it's done by young hoodlums. Vicious hoodlums who have turned against the world yet are not old enough to calculate the costs of evil. And many times the costs and fruits of evil can add up to even murder, as it did one night in Alden Park a few weeks ago. Come on, quit dragging your feet. We want to get into position. Okay, okay, get off my back. Uh, there's the bushes. Let's cut over there. It looks like a good spot, Jay. Uh, sure. I picked it, didn't I? Closer to the path than the last one. Gives us less distance to cover. Yeah. Here. Now we can relax and wait. Yeah. Relax. That's what I said. We'll say it again. For all the good it'll do. Well, you got the jumps, Candy? Yeah, I got the jumps. Oh, calm down. Eat one of your lousy candy bars. We got a job to do. Yeah. Here, yeah, you want one? Nah. Candy's for kids. Suit yourself. <sighs> Dance should be over. Uh-huh. Hey, we better pipe down or... Get set. Here comes a couple now. Yeah, figures. I'm not finished. Oh, go ahead and finish. It's just a couple of kids. Yeah, we wouldn't even have two bucks between them. Get that. Yeah, I hope we get a live one tonight. I could use some extra dough. <laughs> Who couldn't? I got me a gun all lined up. A thirty-eight special. Practically new. You get it for 50 bucks. If you get a gun, you're going to get in trouble. We do okay with these hunks of gas pipe. There ain't no serial numbers to be traced. Here comes another couple. Targets. Yeah. One of the guys I think. Fancy does in a big roll. All right, I'll take him. You take the thing. Right. Get past. All right, let's go. Easy. Now. Wait, what? What's the matter? Oh! There, grab her hand bag. I'll clean this one. Hey, well, the ring looks like a beaut. Get it. Way ahead of you. Hey, look out. Jay's coming through. Yeah, I got the answer for six souls like his. Oh. Hey, that's enough. Let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah, come on. Let's go buy ourselves some fun. District Attorney's office. Harrington, Miss Miller. Chief there? Yes, he's right here. For you, Mr. Garrett. Harrington calling from the hospital. Oh, I hope it's good news. Yes, Harrington? Make it murder. The man just died. Oh. Well, did you say anything? Not a word. Never came out of the coma. The girl's okay. Slight concussion, shock. She can talk now, but she hasn't got much to say. No identification at all? None. Heard nothing except a footstep behind her. Saw nothing except stars when she was hit. Yeah. That's a help. Well, no point in you staying on there. See if you can get a list of what was stolen. All right, Chief. I'll be in with it in half an hour. Sounds like our park seems to graduated. Clear to the top. Then you do think it's the same here. Almost certain. The M.O.s are identical. Lab says the weapons used were round, heavy rods. Probably pieces of gas pipe. Same as before. Sounds like the work of a maniac. Maniacs don't work in pairs. No, um, better guess is that our park robbers are young hoodlums. Gutterettes. Without any more sense than to risk murder for what they could make in a few days' honest work. Today with clubs, tomorrow with guns. Unless they're stopped now. Or any word on that candy wrapper that was found in the bushes where they're hidden? Well, the lab's still going over it. They promised to send a report as soon as they finish. Good. Make up a list of everything that was taken and all the robberies. Oh, and call Lieutenant Padway at Homicide. I want to sit down with him on this as soon as possible. Yes, sir. Here's the score, Chief. Take a look. Yeah, let's see. 
40 to $50 in cash. Well, uh, that's the girl's estimate. She's sure it wasn't anymore. Say 50 Plus his gold watch. $5 in her purse and a ring. A zircon. Valued about $20. Hmm. Murder comes cheap these days. Murder's never cheap. These killers are going to find that out. Harrington, I want you... Yes, Miss Miller? Lab report just came in on the candy wrapper, Mr. Garrett. Oh, what is it? Well, not much. Prints are too smart. Plenty of lint, the usual stuff. Tobacco, cotton fibers from a cheap shirt, dirt that contains some chalk, probably pool chalk. The candy's a popular brand of chocolate bar sold everywhere. Well, that's all? One other thing. What? It has nuts. Thanks. Nuts? Sounds kind of good. Maybe I'll try a box. Later. Right now, I want you to get a list of the fences who would handle junk like zircon rings and gold watches. Huh? Well, any pawnbroker would buy... Sure, that. sure, but I want to know the ones who buy hot merchandise. Even the punks know better than to sell stuff to an honest pawnbroker. Robbery detail would pick them up in 24 hours. Yep. Now, well, take this list. Check it with the most likely fences yourself. Right. Uh, Chief, only what would you say is the most likely? One that caters to young hoodlums. And work fast. We want to wrap these killers up before they play another one of their Saturday night games. I'm on my way. Yes, what can I do for... Oh, it's you. Well, don't sound so happy, happy. We brought your present. From you two, all I want is that... Lots of it. So beat it, both of you. You got a bad memory, Happy. We got a deal, remember? Candy and I lift the stuff and you buy it. I got no deal with murder. On your way and please don't write. Show them the stuff, Jay. Yeah. Here, Happy. Take a look. Solid gold watch and a diamond ring the size of your hat. Are you too crazy? These things are a one-way ticket to the death house. Now get out of here. I wouldn't touch them with a... Happy? Yeah. You're gonna touch them. In fact, you're gonna buy them? No. Now, now, wait, just like always. Jay, Candy, put those pipes away. Now, now look, I was just kidding. We I... don't like kidding. <laughs> now, listen, you sniveling old hypocrite. We got a good little business going, and just because that jerk died ain't no reason to quit. But I... But nothing. You're in, and you're going to stay in. Now, take a look at that watch and ring. All right. Candy, you better stay by the door and make sure we don't have no interruptions. Jay. Well... Watch is gold. 17 jewels swift moving. I can give you 40 bucks for it. 40? Boy, you creep. That ticket's worth at least 300. Retail, yes. It's worth a yard and a half if I could sell it here in my store. But as hot as this item is, I'll have to ship it out of town. I'll be lucky if I can get $50 for it. Uh, that means you'll get 100. We'll take 75. 55, and that's the limit. Okay, okay. What about the ring? Let's see. For that, I'll give you two bucks. What? For a diamond that size? It's a zircon and not a very good one at that. You're lying. So take it to a jeweler. Take it to another fence. If that was for more than 20 bucks, it was a robbery. All right, I'll just do that. And if it's a diamond, I'll come back here and... It's not a diamond, and if you'll take my advice, you'll throw it down the nearest sewer. I don't like your advice. Let's have the dough. Sure. Twenty. Forty. 45, 50, 55. Thanks. Now, I want to see that gun, the 38. Sure. There. With that, you can kill lots of people. That sounds like a crack. You're getting brave again, Happy. If I was brave, I'd have kicked you both out of here. That's a nice gun. Real nice. How much? Same price, 50, but I make you a bargain. You can have it for nothing if you don't come back. Here's the 50. <laughs> I couldn't stand the thought of never seeing you again, Happy Face. Hey, Jay, someone's coming. Come on, we'll go out the back. So long, Happy. <laughs> we'll be seeing you. Punks. Why I ever let myself get involved with Morning, Happy. Morning. I know you? No, but I know you. Rather, your record. A cop. Yeah. Awful, isn't it? Name is Harrington, district attorney's office. So? What's the DA want with me? I'm clean. <laughs> I'd like to take bets on it. How's the fencing business? Go polish a badge. Uh, happy. Somebody's been buying the watches and rings stolen in the Alden Park robberies. Yeah. Here's a list of the stuff. Not me. 
Up to last Saturday, the buyer was facing a short rap for receiving stolen merchandise. From here on, it'll be accessory to murder. A year or two against 20. Or maybe even life. Smart man would think about that. You're good. You're real good. Makes me almost sorry I'm not the fence you're looking for. <laughs> you better try the next one on your list. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. But I think I'll keep you in mind, Happy. You kind of appeal to me. Thanks for coming by, Harrington. No trouble, Chief. It's Saturday, and I thought you'd want to know the padway at the park all sewed up in case the robbers are on schedule. Very good. Excuse me. Sure. Hot there? A oh, bit of indigestion. This will fix it up. How many men does Padway have on tonight's job? All he could get. Alden Park's pretty big. Yeah, it's too big. It'll take a thousand men to really cover it. Well, yeah, Padway has about 60. 20 covering the exits. Which the robbers would be crazy to use. Mm-hmm. He has a half dozen at the desk and the rest are on the path from the pavilion. Well, that's the best chance. Only there's two or three miles of that path for them to... Excuse me. Hello? Yes, yeah, speaking. Oh, hello, Padway. What? No. When? Yes, yes, I'll be right down. What is it, Chief? Another robbery? Yeah, one of Padway's men nearly caught them red-handed. Nearly? You mean he did... They got away. But the officer's on his way to the receiving hospital. Two bullets in him. Miss Miller's prediction has come true. It's tomorrow, and our killers have traded in their clubs for guns. Alden Park, acres of beautiful trees, a golf course, a zoo, dozens of picnic groves and shaded paths. It was a place of peace and happiness until two men decided to make it a place of robbery and murder. To be exact, four robberies, one murder, and a police officer badly wounded. It wasn't a very nice score. Hi, Chief. Got anything new on the ticket? No. It didn't figure, really. They're local, all right. Yeah, back at our old dead end. Unless Officer Kelly is able to give us a description. Oh, Padway just called in. Kelly came, too. He's going to be okay. Oh, that's good news. Was he able to talk? Yeah, he could talk, but it won't be much help. They were running away through the trees when he saw them, and it was dark. All he could say for sure is that they seemed young. They were both white, dark-haired, medium height. One was a little heavy. That would be our candy bar eater. Boil it down, and all we know for certain is that there are two young men whose descriptions would fit 10,000 others. Uh, we're making great progress. We'll get them, Chief. And of course we'll get them. But how many people will have to die or wind up like Officer Kelly first? Come on, I'm going to call Padway. Uh-huh. What are you going to do? I'm going to organize the biggest dragnet this town has ever seen. We're going to grill every hoodlum who's between the ages of 18 and 30. Yes, and we'll bring in every known fence as well. That'll be some job. Sure it will. But I want this town made white hot. I want you to see to it that all the stool pigeons get leaned on. Hard. Right, Chief? Somewhere in this city, there's someone with the answers. We're going to put the pressure on until that someone cracks. Sorry, I'm closing. Oh. Well, what's the matter, Happy? You don't look very happy. In fact, you look like you've seen a ghost. To me, you're worse. And you're closing up. Emptying the register, bags packed. You taking a trip? You bet your sweet life I'm taking a trip. A long one. Until this town cools off. Oh? And what happens to Candy and me? Where do we sell our merchandise? Sell it to the devil. You'll be with them soon enough. Wait a minute. What? You the... wait. Don't you get it, you stupid gunfall? This town's on fire. You can't brush your teeth without a cop checking to see what kind of toothpaste you're using. Well, me, I've had it. Uh, sure, sure, they picked me up too, but it's all a bluff. They don't have a thing. Blah, bluff. Your knucklehead, of course, don't have anything yet. But how long do you think it'll take before some pigeon starts making good guesses about you and Candy? And me. Ah, nuts, you're a worry ward, Happy. The DA can't The even... DA's gonna wrap you up in a nice pink ribbon and hang you with it. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to enjoy reading about it in Florida. Hold on. Get out of my way. You're not running out? No, maybe I should say goodbye. Goodbye, punk. 
Give my love to the DA. Trying to make them on the plane, Chief. Hadway's men are searching this place now. Well, I hope we find something. So far, all we have on him is that he wanted to go to Florida. Hello, Happy. Meet the district attorney, Mr. Garrett. I want my lawyer. In good time. Oh, and speaking of time, you might save yourself some if you did some singing. I'm no stoolie. Even if I was, I got nothing to tell. Well, you could start by telling us why you were in such a hurry to leave town. I don't have to answer no questions until I see my lawyer. Oh, that's true. But the attitude is a little foolish. We put the pressure on every two-bit fence in town, Happy. You were the only one who broke and ran. Talk. Number one, if you could prove I was a fence, I'd be in jail. Two, you don't have enough to book me on. That's why you got me in this, uh, this waiting room. You must think I'm an awful... <laughs> Harrington here. Yeah, Lieutenant Padway, he's what? What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell him. Don't worry. Happy's not going anyplace for a long time. Padway find something? I'll say he did. You guys can save the act. I'm not buying it. No act this time, Happy. The Zaycon ring was found on the floor of your store. No. Yeah. Taken from a girl in Alden Park two weeks ago. In fact, it was on the list of stolen items I showed you. But it couldn't have been found in my store. I didn't buy it. I gave it back to... To whom? Come on, Happy. Let's have some names. Who, Happy? Uh, nobody. Anybody. It might have fallen from anybody's pocket. Just because you found it on the floor of my store doesn't mean that... It means you're tied into robbery and murder. Now, make it easy on yourself. Let's have some talk. Yeah, I suppose I should. Make a lot of sense, Mr. Garrett, but... But what? Sorry, no dice. You know, of course, if you cooperate, it's possible for me to recommend leniency. I know. And if I don't, you can hit me with a book. The answer's still no. So for a pair of mad dogs, you'll give up maybe ten years of your life. You're wasting your breath, Mr. Garrett. Yes, I guess I am. Come on, I... Uh, Mr. Garrett. Yes? Thanks, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, what? Oh, hi, Jake. Come on in. Yeah, yeah, read the paper. This will wake you up. Huh? What's the... Uh, Happy's been arrested. What? Worse than that, the cops found that jerk on ring in his store. Must have fell out of my pocket. Oh, brother, what do we do now? If Happy talked... If he'd talk, we'd be in jail by now. But we're not going to take any chances of him changing his mind. What do you mean? I mean we're going to blow this town. On what? We don't have 20 bucks between us. We know where to get some, don't we? You mean the park? Yeah, you're nuts. After that cop shooting, they'll... They go... won't expect us to try again. So we will. I don't know. I don't like it. Let's try some others. What others? Oh, no. We got the park all figured. We'll pull it there. It's a snap. And if some dumb cop gets in our way, this 38 will teach him the same lesson it did the other one last Saturday. Come on, get some clothes on it. I'll meet you at Nick's with some chow. The last one, Mr. Garrett. Mr. Garrett. Hmm? Oh, thanks. I'll sign them later. Worry's not going to help. You no, know, I know, but today is Saturday. I can't keep myself from wondering what will happen in Alden Park tonight. Lieutenant Padway will have it covered. Well, he had it covered last week. It's too big, Miss Miller. He just doesn't have enough men to do the job. If only there wasn't so much of that park. Well, if there was only some way we could localize our coverage, anticipate where they were going to strike. Date? Date? Every time they've hit, they've picked a couple with money. Oh, not too much, maybe. But the man's usually had a good roll of cash. What does that mean? Well, that's easy. They case the dance, pick out a few of the best-looking prospects. Then on the path, they wait for one of them to pass by. Head of the class. So what if we gave them a particularly good-looking prospect? Even I can guess that one. Yeah, might work, Chief. 
It has to work. All we need is the right couple. And I know just the two. Harrington, would you like to take me to the dance tonight? Delighted, Miss Miller. <laughs> oh, now, wait, Miss Miller. I wasn't suggesting. Look, there are police women who... who... would have to be briefed on the case, who'd never worked with Harrington, and who wouldn't be nearly as attractive a bait as I. But, Miss... But it's going to be dangerous. I know and accept. All right. All right, Miss Miller. Now, listen carefully. We don't have much time. I'll arrange for a big roll of money for both of you and some expensive-looking jewelry. I want you to get out to the dance early and move around. Right. Hit the concessions often. Flash the rolls every chance you get. Make sure the people around get a good look. When the dance is over, take the path and walk slow. Like sweethearts preoccupied with each other? Exactly. Only keep your eyes and ears open, particularly when you're passing a clump of bushes where they might hide. Don't worry. Now, there'll be a policeman ahead of you and behind you and pacing on either side. You'll be as well protected as possible, but we can't be too near without giving the trap away. So watch yourself. We will. Oh, and call Henshaw, Miss Miller, and have him send up a lightweight thirty-two revolver. Yes, sir. What are we waiting for? We've let a dozen marks pass us already. It'll be worth it. Wait and see. This pair I keep, they've both got rolled. Big ones. Must be a couple of hundred or more. To say nothing of the rocks the dame was wearing. Yeah, they're real. Oh, they're real. Don't worry. She's one of them rich ones. She even had on one of them crazy French dresses. You know, the kind they want 500 bucks for? 500 for a dress? Yeah, maybe a thousand. Hey. Someone coming down the path. Probably another false alarm. If we don't do something soon, it's I'm... them. Wow, what a dame. Yeah, never mind the dame. Just get the rocks in that roll she's carrying. I'll take the guy. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let's go. Wait. Now... Miss Miller, look out. Oh, my face. Oh, my face. Get back and knock it. A gun. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Ah, boy. Don't try it. Miss Miller, Harrington, you all right? Yeah, sure, sure, Chief. We're okay. This one tried to pull a gun. I had a nail him in the shoulder. Someone will take this chubby one off my hand. I think I'll collapse. <laughs> You've earned it, Miss Miller. They're all yours, Lieutenant Padway. Take them away. Collapse. She should collapse. More close than a tiger. Yeah, and a good night's work, Harrington. Yeah. And I know a certain officer, Kelly, who's going to be mighty pleased to hear about it. You ought to make him recover even faster. Oh, now, Harrington, I think you'd better take Miss Miller home. Uh, that's a lovely dress, but I'm sure she must be a little cold. Good night, Harrington. Miss Miller. Good night. Okay, Chief. See you Monday. You probably read the story in your newspapers. The young man we call Jay was tried and convicted of first-degree murder. His partner, Candy, was convicted on four counts of robbery and assault, as well as one charge of accessory to murder. The fence happy is now serving a sentence for being an accessory after the fact of murder, plus three counts of receiving stolen merchandise. Now, this is David Bryan inviting you to join us when we present our next case based on the facts of crime from the file of Mr. District Attorney. to Mr. District Attorney, which has come to you through the worldwide facilities of the United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service.